Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a success story for you. It's from Unicorn. So, it goes like this. I have a success story. If you like it, you can share this with your viewers. Warning though, I'm not the manifester, I am the manifested. So this is how my boyfriend who manifested me back, let's call him Sky. So I was in a relationship with this guy almost four years ago. Things didn't work out and I fell in love with my specific person. Basically, I broke up with Sky and disappeared on him. I met my specific person on November 2014, exactly four days after his birthday. Let's call him Amor. Basically, I was his birthday present. I have been with my specific person for two years on and off. In January 2016, we broke up. This year, meaning this one year, meaning 2016, I learned about law of attraction in relationship department. I knew law of attraction from 2010 and I used it here and there all the time, but using it for a specific person seemed very challenging. And at first, I was very confident, and I'll do it easily, but I couldn't. I really couldn't answer why. Eventually, as the time went by, I started to lose faith on law of attraction. Mind you, we were still in touch. All this time, I was so much in contact with my specific person, Amor. We had great communication and everything, but only that we were not officially in a relationship. And during this time, I created a third party. But even after that, I was his best friend. I mean, me and Amor had such great connection. It's like magical. No matter how badly we ended up all the time, we would start off amazingly. He broke up with the person, well, just because I didn't focus on her then. And later he himself told me that she was my backup. But yet, we were not together still. I was still insecure and desperate and everything. In 2017, our communication got worse. In June 2017, I came across Agnes's channel. She gave me the missing piece that I was always, always, always searching for. So, as why I wasn't manifesting my relationship. I started working on my self-love, my self-esteem, and on building the love for me. I again thought within a month or two, I'll manifest him back. But lot, LOL, I didn't. Then in November 2017, I manifested him getting married. I was devastated, depressed, and I can't explain how many dark, deep emotions I was feeling. My world had fallen apart. But I got a hold of myself and I eventually got better. So I know... I created this because I was always worried about it. So this yet again proves I'm the creator of my own reality. I still wanted him back, but being an Indian, I believe in sacredness and purity of marriages. But again, Agnes would help me all the time during Q&As and emails, for which I can't really thank her enough. So this time I said to the universe, the universe knows what I want and I let it go. I want him happy and me happy too. So this was about my specific person, Amor. Now about Sky. I broke up with him four years ago in 2015, as soon as I realized I was in love with Amor. He, Sky, always wanted me back, but I never wanted him back. But he could still always call me. He used to especially never forget to wish me on my every single birthday. We would agree on being friends, but we would always, always fight terribly, ending with me blocking him. This continued often times in the last three years. For almost a year, we were not in touch. He would reach out once in a while to check up on me, but he never got the best response from my side. Then in 2017, we started talking, trying to be friends again. But still, I tell you, it was so bad to, I was so bad to him and I would behave very badly. I was basically being a bitch. I didn't want to hurt any one of us or maybe I thought, but that, hang on, I didn't want to hurt any one of us or maybe 
that I thought was a reason. I don't quite understand that. Uh, we'll leave that. I always push him away. I, and I tell you I would write on a stamp and seal it that I never wanted to do anything with this guy in my life because he had also been rude and abusive to me. But even if you would ask me two months ago, I didn't want to do anything with him. Fast forward to now. Tomorrow is Feb 14th. I have a Valentine. I'm in a good enough relationship with Sky from the last one and a half months. He's everything that I've ever wanted. He loves me, he respects me, he adores me and all our fights have like vanished away. I haven't fought with him in two months. Well, we couldn't stand each other for even a day. I really love his company. It's a long distance relationship but we are very happy. He has completely changed. He is a completely changed person. All the things I used to complain about him are gone. He's a compassionate, amazing person. He does everything that I wanted from a partner. We're planning our vacation together. He's visiting to see me this month and I'm amazed at myself to be having feelings for this person. I could never imagine this in my wildest dreams. If I can change my mind, lol, anyone can. Everything is possible, nothing is off limits, I'm happier than ever. I continue to do my self-love practices and work on my happiness and security. He even wants to get married to me. But we're taking it slow. I'm not sucking on his love and energy. It's a very fulfilling relationship. We are secure for each other. We even give each other space. I am, in short, trying to say I might not have manifested my specific person, but I manifested a completely improved version of someone. And me and Amor, we are in so much better terms right now. I am happy with my boyfriend and I am content and grateful. I still love my specific person, Amor, and maybe he would return when it's good time for all of us. Me, Amor, his wife and Sky. And if not, I don't care. I love him and I love me and I want us all to be very happy. And right now my focus is my life, my career, my goals, my dreams and whatever I want. Or is it best, what is best for me will come to me at the right time. Universe already knows it. I just want to say nothing in this world can make us feel good. If we don't feel good within us and about us, first self-love is really basis of everything. Listen to everything that Agnes says. Life starts with you and no one else. We don't have to attract back a person. We are attracting ourselves back. Thank you so much, and yes, I don't know what I would have done without you, and Veronica and John are my angels. So much love to you, plus I would not be able to get here without my long-distance sweetheart, Samantha. She's like my LOA friend and a great support. I love her to the moon and back, and of course, people of the WhatsApp LOA group. Sorry for such a long one. Hey, if you think it's good to be shared, please feel free to share it. And yes, thank you very much. I love you to pieces. Lovely. Well, that's a different slant, isn't it? Different, different, different. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Unicorn. That was lovely. So also I want to say I'm going to post down below I did some radio interviews. I'm going to put the links down below. I did one last week, so I'll put that one at the top. For those of you that want to listen to a little bit more stuff, it's with Blog Talk Radio Australia, internet radio. And also I'll put the full playlist down below of the how to manifest an X back for those of you that have not seen the whole list of those. And also, most important, the self-love meditations. I'm going to put those down below too. Ciao, ciao.